Good evening. Jeff Bixby for this week in gay history. August 8th. There is a quiet at the heart of love, and I have pierced the pain and come to peace. Those are the words of Miss Sarah Teasdale, born August 8th, 1884, in St. Louis, Missouri. She tried the straight life for many years, being the subservient wife to a domineering husband, so as every normal marriage in the Victorian era. Of course, it couldn't last. At the age of 42, Sarah Teasdale fell in love with Miss Margaret Conklin. After Teasdale's divorce in 1929, they lived together until Sarah's death at the age of 49 in 1933. August 9th is the birthday of composer Ronaldo Hahn, born in Caracas, Venezuela in 1875, and August 10th, European actor René Crevel, born in Paris in 1900. He was one of the members of the Surrealist movement and an admitted homosexual. August 12th is the birthday of the author of The Well of Loneliness, Radcliffe Hall, born in 1880. It was the first undisguised lesbian novel. Note that she always dedicated her books to the three of us. Radcliffe's first lover was Veronica Batten, and being one of the few promiscuous lesbians in history, she met and had an affair with Lady Una Trubridge. So enraged was Veronica when she found out that she dropped dead of a heart attack. Well, then Radcliffe took up spiritualism to try to contact Veronica in order to apologize and beg her forgiveness. Thereafter, all of her books were dedicated to the three of us. August 15th is the birthday of T.E. Lawrence, otherwise known as Lawrence of Arabia, and the birthday of Napoleon Bonaparte. I'm Jeff Bixby, and that's This Week in Gay History.